Welcome back. So Chrome OS 139 has been rolling out to Chromebooks this week. So let's take a look at what's new. Spoiler alert, if you're a home user, there's probably nothing to blow you away here. Worth a quick mention that since my update last month on Chrome OS 138, the ability to generate your own custom AI wallpaper like this example has been rolling out. I'll link you to my update video showing you how you can do this on Chromebook Plus models at the end of this one. First up in Chrome OS 139, we've got the new desk sync feature. This is clearly aimed at sectors with managed Chromebooks that are shared between staff like retail, hospitality, healthcare and manufacturing. So no matter which Chromebook you pick up, you can log in and start where you left off. Desk Sync restores all windows, tabs and even cookies from the previous session. Admins can switch on this feature for managed users within the admin console under Devices, Chrome, Settings, Desk Sync. Although different, this reminds me very much of the welcome back functionality we had introduced in Chrome OS 129. Most of us as home users will be familiar with that concept as one user on one device. So now imagine something similar but way more powerful across multiple devices restoring your whole previous session as described. Next up in Chrome OS 139 some new touchscreen functionality but it's not actually for your Chromebook's built-in touchscreen like I'm showing you here with the Lenovo Chromebook Plus 14 but rather if you have an external touch display. The update is the touchscreen calibration tool which will let you calibrate the boundaries of an external touch display. So again, one largely for enterprise and education customers, probably handy for classroom environments in particular. Next up, with the move away from Chrome apps to web applications and Chrome extensions, it's worth being aware that Chrome OS 139 marks the point at which user installed Chrome apps on Chrome OS will stop working. Google say that apps that are force installed through the admin console for managed guest sessions and user sessions will continue to be supported. In a related matter for developers, Chrome OS 139 and later will no longer support native client in managed environments with the NACI allow policy enabled. So no major features, at least for home users here, but of course you've got the new Chrome browser too, complete with a number of bug fixes. If you've noticed something else new in Chrome OS 139, please drop a comment below. If you're still watching, hopefully it means the video is worth a like. If you do want to check out how to create the AI wallpaper on Chromebook Plus models, that video is on the left to watch next. Otherwise, the YouTube algorithm thinks you'll like the video on the right. Cheers.